And so here's the whole thing. One of the big things about the misdynamics in relationship today is that men are not deliberately being the leader. And so for you to step into that role would mean you know exactly what the core values are that you hold close to your heart so that you can bring a woman in that matches them. These guys who like marry liberal women who are conservative and then they marry a, a liberal girl, not realizing like, you know, a COVID, this is what COVID did. COVID exposed all those weak, uh, valueless and, uh, or mismatched value families. All those people that got divorced during COVID is because when the pressures of what was really going on hit them, they realized, yo, we're not the same. We don't have the same values. We don't have the same beliefs. What are we doing together, right? But they were so busy having sex and then working and ignoring all the what seemed like subtle red flags that it wasn't until the heat of COVID or anything, like you know, the heat of a death of, in the family or you know, the loss of a job or the loss of, of health, you know, all these things, all of a sudden it's like, wait, what's important to us now? And so you mentioned she comes from a Christian background and, or you come from a Christian background, she's a Muslim background. That's going to be an issue. That's not going to be a small thing, either from your side or from her side. And then if not dealt with uh, appropriately, the children are going to suffer because they're not going to know what they are. So you know what they do? They choose nothing. And if you're serious about being Christian, <laughs> then she, your wife needs to be too. I get it. You're in love and you enjoy each other and, you know, we like the same ice cream and, and music. <laughs> but these are like core value things. You know, disagreements and misunderstandings, that could be related. That's deeply spiritual too. You know, when I was talking politics more in terms of politics, but, but liberal politics are infused and grown in the soil of feminism. Is there such thing as a feminist Muslim? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm just bringing that up. And so you also, it's basically like a separate issue altogether. You're not sure even from a fundamental level, is, is it better to do the modern relationship thing with the, you know, the, the working woman or the traditional relationship dynamics where she stays at home? Um, in terms of working outside the home, it was my core values back in 2002 when I was only like 23 years old. You know, I was, I'm always ahead of my time. All this traditional relationship dynamic shit that's coming out now. <laughs> Bro, I was thinking about this before it was even a word for it. It's just, uh, it's just the way I am. That's why I'm, that's why I'm the leader because I go first. So back then, 2000, think about it. Most of y'all was like probably still teenagers, maybe even younger in 2003. I decide, you know what? My values is family first, finances after. I was like, babe, you know what? We're keeping you home. Uh, I'll figure out how to make the money because I don't want to send my kids to daycare. And that's another thing, right? Like you asking, right now you asking about, you know, a traditional wife, but what's the point of the wife? The only reason we have a wife is so you can make children, so you can make a baby, so you can raise a family. So that's another core value that's not really mentioned. If she's going to make, and the way I saw it is if my wife is going to be making babies, she's going to be taking care of those babies. I'm not going to have her out there teaching, because she was a teacher. I'm not going to have her out there teaching other people children. Why am I going to have my wife out there raising other people, teenage kids, teaching them bullshit school items, and I'm going to take my, my newborn baby and I'm going to send it to daycare. Or even, you know, my, maybe my parents could have helped, but still, why? Why should they got to go to grandma? Why she can't be with her mother? That was my mindset because I decided that's my responsibility. That's my job. That's what I'm here to do. And you take care of this baby 24 hours, 24 seven. You need to take care of this baby. Why are you giving the baby to somebody else, a stranger? And then the more babies we have, the more her hands are full. Hey, she got to feed me. She got to keep the house clean and she got to entertain these babies. That's a full time job. I wouldn't have this, your girl, right? I would have her stay home and not be pregnant <laughs> what you at home doing cooking and cleaning for you or her no you take care of that baby in the oven that's what you're doing right otherwise she could get a job 
But you got to remember, what's your value? Okay, you have a job right now, but as soon as I put that bun in the oven, just know. That's just my, from my perspective. This is what I would do. This is what I did. This is me. So I would, I, would, I would try to get very serious about coming to resolutions about those big things, disagreements, whatever they are, uh, religion. Don't marry a woman that you aren't clear. Don't marry somebody and y'all not clear on exactly what you're doing in terms of religion. Even if you're not very religious at the time, because you could have a religious conversion five years from now and then be like, oh man, I married a heathen <laughs> or whatever, right? You, you, whatever you want to call them or just somebody different. You know, you turn around and like, damn, like, yo, I woke up and I realized I'm not the same as this person because I didn't, I didn't think it through in the beginning. Right. Speak it through. Think it through. And if you can't come to a conclusion, then wait, because religion is something you carry to the death. You know what I'm saying? Most people, but a lot of people, a lot of people, I, just, I made a video not too long ago on my YouTube channel that more people fall away from the faith because of their desire for marriage. A lot of people fall away from the faith because of their desire for marriage for for copulation for fornicating for being with girls <laughs> so you don't want to you don't want that to be you porn 68 percent of church going men watch it secretly hiding this vice from their wife for other men it's alcohol or drug use are you willing to risk your marriage family and finances for sinful pleasures and vice or are you ready to fight back if you're a married christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking drugs or jerking off realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life is this the man god called you to be to live like this if you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back here's my advice click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together i'll see you on the inside